What's up guys? Um, I just bought a new truck. No, I'm just kidding. My dad actually just bought this. It's a 2014 uh, Cummins diesel. It's got the 6.7 liter motor. Uh, it's a 3500. Pretty, pretty sweet truck. Um, is what this video is going to be. It's not going to be anything super fancy. But like I mentioned in my one of my videos where I did like the tour around this place, um, my job here is like doing details and stuff as well. So I'm going to be detailing this truck from the inside out. Um, once I am done detailing this truck, um, me and my brother here, What's up? Hayden, the Hayden Manning, isn't that your YouTube? Yep. Yeah, I the know. the Hayden Manning. It's not just Hayden Manning. It's the that's my Hayden Instagram. Manning. Oh, that's how that's how you know he's so cool. No, but once we're done detailing this, we're gonna go take you guys basically for a test drive. I'm gonna show you some of the cool features of this truck. You guys, all, all the horses. Yeah, all, all the horsepowers this thing's packing. I mean, it's look at this. It's faster than the. It's faster than his truck, actually. Look, these tow mirrors, You can't even push them in factory. They just stay out because, you know, it's I guess part of the whole Dodge life. <laughs> no, but yeah, once once we get it all cleaned up. We'll go drive it around. I'll show you guys the exhaust. It's got a four inch exhaust from the turbo back. No cat, no muffler, so it sounds super good. Um, we'll show you the engine brake, which is, that's, I think that's the coolest thing of these trucks. Sounds super good. But yeah, we'll start detailing it. I'll have some like little clips of us doing that. And then once we hear and get that done, we'll go drive it. So stay tuned. What are you doing? Filling this up. Got my, this corrosive degreaser right here. Stuff's called Mean Green. Um, so what I'm gonna do with this is you just have to follow me and you'll see. So, whenever I'm detailing a truck, first step I do is I do the engine compartment. Um, you can see this is just filthy. There's dust, there's dirt, there's not a whole lot of grease because it's not an old Dodge. It's pretty new. So I'm gonna start off by you don't drench it, you just mist it with this degreaser all the way throughout. Um, another thing about this truck, while this hood's open and we're right here, if I were to buy one of these, you gotta do the EGR delete, get rid of all of this exhaust gas regulations. You know, it's so dumb, but here in Utah, they're, they're pretty strict on that in a lot of our counties. Anyways, back to cleaning. So yeah, I just mist everything like so, and then I'll let it sit for about five minutes, let it kind of eat anything that needs to be eaten. Spray then, it off with hot water. Yeah, and then I'll just, God, you're hitting the freaking lens, dude. <laughs> and then I'll, uh, I'll spray it off with hot water. And then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the engine compartment. All right, so now, when you go to spray this off, if you guys use the same ideas to detail your vehicles, when you go to spray it off, I don't recommend just drenching it. Like, I put on kind of like a mist. Like a mist. And then just douse the engine. Yeah. Just get it real nice and wet. <laughs> use, wait, always use hot water too if the truck's been running. This truck's been sitting for about 30 minutes, but I'm using super hot water. Yeah, you don't want to crack yeah. anything. You don't want to crack anything. So, yeah, I'm going to do that and then we'll go on to like the next stuff. We'll wash the truck, we'll vacuum it, do a bunch of other little stuff. and it already looks so much better. Yeah, we'll go from there. Remember how, how dusty this all was and grimy looking? <laughs> and that looks like it did from factory, you know? Got so, fucked up. It's, it's all good. I really do. It's taking off the stickers from the auction. Yeah. Not sure if I mentioned we did buy this truck from the auction. So I gotta peel all this shit off. Should have done it before I sprayed the windshield. Cause now my hands keep sliding up. Oh, come on. Don't we just hate when that happens? Yeah, everyone, this is, everyone knows the struggle of peeling off any sticker. This is the worst thing that can possibly happen. <laughs> all right, now we're just washing it off. Yeah. Got so all the stickers off. Got all the dealer stickers off. Engine's clean, we're gonna wash it. Um, Take off these uh, yeah, we'll, side we'll moldings. Yeah, we'll off these. That's another one of my favorite things about Dodge trucks. 
because the body lines, I mean, they change a little bit, but not a whole lot from like 2003 to 2017. Like it's, you got this nice square, you know, it's just smooth all the way down to where like Ford, GM, Chevrolet, like they'll have like the built in style fender flares, which I'm not a huge fan of. I just like the clean cut fenders. So that's another perk of owning a Dodge. I think it just, Oh, looks yeah. a lot more clean, simple, and if you have fat wheels, they hang out more, so <laughs> it's always a plus. Yeah. All right, we just found this uh, TV that we're gonna put in the um, bug truck. Yeah. Later on today, <laughs> so he can watch his TV shows going down the road. No. <laughs> oh, we're gonna mount it on the hood so I can so I can watch it through the windshield. <laughs> It'll work as a cow hood. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should be, should be sick, stay tuned. High definition. All right, so we're just about done. We got the truck all clean. All the door jams are clean. Um, right now I'm just touching up the tires with some tire shine, brush, um, engine's all clean. There's your guys' after on what it looks like. Looks brand new. Got all it all, shiny. all cleaned up pretty good. But yeah, we're just gonna finish up these tires and then I just gotta run a vacuum for, through the truck and that's it, we're good to go. Probably go grab some lunch and while we're doing that we'll, we'll show you guys some of the cool things on the truck. Yeah, tire shine literally makes one of the biggest difference like when you're cleaning a vehicle. Especially in the sunlight. Yeah, like look at that. I haven't even rubbed it in yet and look, it looks brand new. Then you just take a brush, I mean, yeah, any kind of brush you want and then just swirl it around. Just bring it around town. And just do that a couple times and make sure you get it in really good because if you don't and you'll go to drive off, it will throw this shit all over the vehicle. And to where this truck's white, it would just kind of defeat the entire purpose of everything we just did. So yeah, rubbing it real good. And yeah, that's you know a good explanation on how you clean a truck, I guess, detail it, whatever you want to call it. guys as you can see the truck is all clean it looks like it's right off the showroom floor again it's looking pretty good I'd say nice and shiny I'll let you guys hear it my brother's gonna start it up for you guys you can hear it purr hey do the do the exhaust brake you guys can hear this thing whistle with the exhaust brake literally one of the coolest things Sounds like a freaking jet takes off. Oh, I think that sounds so good. Anyways, we're gonna back this out. We're, and then I gotta take some pictures of it for our website, because you know, it is for sale. Um, haven't came up with the price yet, but I'm gonna get some pictures of it. Then we'll go drive around in it, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, literally, right after I opened the garage, and my brother was backing the truck up so I could take pictures of it and throw it online. He backed right into his Supra. No shit, look at this. Ate that hood alive. His $10,000 spray job. can paint job went right down the gutter. Luckily, it didn't do anything, literally nothing to the bumper. I mean, it, it left some of his- Traded paint yeah, a little bit. Traded paint a little bit, but other than that, 
The bumper's freaking fine. We can rub that shit off. But look at this. Uh, put a. Hey, I wonder if your headlight still pops up. See. Look at the paint just just flakes right off. Oh, we good. Headlight still pops up. That's all that people care about when they buy these. Uh, it has a pretty good size dent though. Paints, I'd say the paints is complete toast. So we'll probably have to go to AutoZone, buy some blue spray paint. We'll touch that up. Make it look, make it look a little bit nicer, but yeah, now, I, I don't know what he was thinking. Um, I didn't see it. I, I, think, I, think, <laughs> I think he's still learning how to drive. Yeah. Um, anyways, you can still hear this bad boy whistling. But hey, pull it up front now, but don't hit anything this time. All right, now I'll take some pictures of it now, and then uh, we'll take you guys for a ride in the truck. Hopefully, he doesn't hit anything else. Now we're going for a little test drive. Um, my brother driving again. Hopefully he doesn't hit anything. That'd not be good. Yeah, we're gonna go on a little bit of a faster road. See if we can get cooking. Maybe you guys will be able to hear the Jake break. But I guess you guys will have to see. my camera is super goofy I, but once again I'm holding it with my hands um, if you guys watched my last video you would have seen that I went to Walmart to buy a, like a tripod and like a little grip to hold my camera with while filming and I freaking it broke today I had it sitting on my dad's toolbox and all of a sudden I hear this something drop uh, I go and check it out and there in my is my camera laying on the ground and the tripod was snapped in half so, I mean, it was $20, um, lesson learned, you really do get what you pay for. So in the meantime, if I find a nice tripod, I'll be using my hand again. So, sorry about that, guys. Alright, get on it. Let's see what this baby's got. Okay, okay. for this truck being completely stock other than the exhaust like, I, I'm impressed if this thing had an EGR delete uh, like an EFI live 200 horsepower tune this thing would eat a lot of trucks alive honestly like, probably even mine like this thing feels so quick but I right, now we're done test driving it we got the truck all clean so I have to say that's a wrap for this video. It's a pretty, pretty fun video other than my brother backing into a Supra and my camera falling off the toolbox. Other than that, it was fun. Truck ride's good, pretty Look, looks good. Um, like, subscribe. I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now, it's so loud. Anyways, like, subscribe, uh, check out all my other videos and leave a comment, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thanks guys, see you next time.